Hello everybody, welcome back to Arthanax Play Sorcerer King. Uh, so, in our last episode we uh, completed another quest for these uh, Ice Yeti people. And um, I'm just clearing out these wolf dens so that after I found this outpost I don't have to worry about wolves wandering up here. Um, let's see... I guess that's just a forest. Um, I also noticed this thing. I think this thing appeared after I went to the rock slide, so maybe I didn't have to do that after all. Might have been a little rash. But oh, I also decided with 353 mana in the bank, I'm going to start summoning buildings um, in this city. This is the city I think that has the most essence potential. You can see it already has four, and then you can get five, six for sure. So. Um, Let's go ahead and finish off the granary, and um, hmm, we'll go ahead and summon up a workshop next. And then a barracks, and we'll continue working our way up. Or maybe a storehouse. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to kind of have you hang out and look for that darkling. It's probably around here somewhere. Anyway, so. I might as well go, especially since this thing is apparently spawning units, might as well go uh, attack those guys. Um, I know it says overwhelming victory, but we can go ahead and fight them. Uh, well, they're already damaged, huh? Alright, this should definitely <laughs> kill them, but it did not crit, which means I don't get a free turn. Um. leveled up and my spiders leveled up and my dusty librarian leveled up um, sure Brand. Uh, okay, is that another sword? Yep. time here. Another question mark, question mark, question mark recipe. We need a diamond. I actually kind of need another ruby. Um, all right, just hang out in the city, I guess. Oh, I forgot to summon something. Tales of your courageous feats in battle have reached the Sorcerer King. Necessity of looking good while being a sovereign has left less and less time for actually sovereigning. 
Seeing the need for this assistance, you seek out an administrator to help manage your day-to-day -day affairs. Before I forget, summon that, and go to the storehouse. Right. Go ahead and grab that for now. And let's restore. Oh, I can't even use this. Never mind. The spell is a lot less useful than I thought it was. Um. One turn. All right. I'll go ahead and grab this chest. Well, that was definitely not worth it. Predicted result, overwhelming victory. Let me go ahead and get that off anyway. Um, two warlocks. I wish you had an AoE attack. Um, overwhelming victory, huh? I'm going to take a bit of a chance and use the light. damage. No levels up though. Oh, nope, the pike can leveled up. Um. Oh, uh, let's see. Is it a new turn? Not a new turn yet. Forget. Summon 
on that. And build me a barracks. I might just let it build that. Um, oh, can't reach that tile, huh? Oh well. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this tile, two food and one essence. Bring up to five essence. And let me go ahead and start casting these Aura of Grace, Aura of Might. Vitality. Warrior's Aura. Is that everything? Alright. If you get another essence, I'll cast that on you. <laughs> Alright, so units that I recruit here are going to be super powerful. Uh, all right, do I want to heal you at all? Uh, writer's just nicked up. All right, let's give this a shot. cold damage to you. Eh, I don't know if it's worth using a blizzard scroll though. Uh, let's just, oh, misclicked. That's unfortunate. Um, Wow, that guy is just going to wreck me if I do not kill him. He's already wrecked two of my units. Definitely gonna win this fight, but man, that sucked. Um, Still trying to figure out if this guy. Never mind. All right. Um, all right. You built your dragon. Um, go ahead and build city guardian. Um, 
sure. Go ahead and just be on the safe side. Oh. Before we leave, we should talk to the Ice Lords again. You have our greetings, family. What can we offer in return? Uh, we offer greetings and a request for help. Request for help? Word has reached us of your alliance with the dwarves, family. They are a hated enemy. We will never help their friends. We speak with the Frozen Realm, but we are not their allies. We need to speak with them as a foul deed. They are tiny villains filled with tiny treachery. I don't fully trust anyone with hands that small either, but please, we still require your assistance. We might offer your assistance, Painskin, but first we have an unusual request for you. I like them unusual, furry one. This land of yours we find ourselves dwelling in is too warm for our blood. It affects my people in many ways. Lately we are having trouble lying with each other. Lying with each other? You mean blank blank dot 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 obscene hand gesture? That is precisely what I mean. I don't really want to get involved with that. I would love to get involved with that. Uh, you're no interest in getting that involved, Pink Skin. You repulse us. No, what we need from you is a potion. You're trying to get potion goggles? You're kind streak in a strange manner, but I believe you understand our meaning. Yes, we need an aphrodisiacal potion to advance convince Yeti of a breeding age to enjoy one another's company. Alright, if that's all, I'd be glad to help. Excellent. Here are a list of the ingredients we require and a recipe for crafting the potion. You are more familiar with these lands than we are, so you should have little difficulty in finding them. Please deliver the finished potion to our breeding circle. A breeding circle? I'll have to try that sometime. Okay. Uh, I guess it's down. Yeti Love Potion. Great heaving lust in great heaving Yeti. Stand back. Do you have it? I do, yes. Thank you for your service, Pink Skin. Our people are most grateful. Is that what that sound was? You carefully back away from the fur covered and slightly aroused beast. <laughs> Uh, thunderclap arrowhead. I assume that's a miscellaneous thing. <clears throat> Where is it? see it oh well whatever <laughs> all right and an interesting way to get our alliance with the yeti but whatever <laughs> greetings manlings we have decided that the only hope for this world is to stop the manling called the sorcerer king our armies will crush over his head Although first they must be raised. In the meantime, one of our bravest, Korthox the Ice Lord, wishes to join you. Thank you, Ice Lords. With your help, we will not fail. We never fail, Manling. All right. That, I believe that resets our Doomsday Counter back to zero. And we pick up Korthox the Ice Lord. Um... that. Where did he appear? Not here, probably in our capital. Indeed, there he is. Does he use swords? Uh, let's see. Immune to cold, vulnerable to fire, crush, backswing, swords! <laughs> Finally, somebody who can use swords. Um, rage, uncontrolled rage, ice lord. What health can I have brute force? You mean unstoppable is an avalanche. Korthog terrifies his enemies and manages not to scare his friends. Let's hit the enemy with it. Cold attack is increased by 10 plus 2 per hero's level during the next turn. Only works in Arctic terrain. All right, so this is his only works in Arctic terrain line. Um, uh, 
Skinny Maul. Whew. And immune to counter. Not sure if it's worth wasting a turn doing that, but it's really good. Uh, she goes to target friendly target with a layer of ice crystals. Uh, meh. Meh. Uh, should attack for every killing blow in battle. Attacks or gets attacked, and has a chance to catch a cold, resulting in minus 10 accuracy. Now, this is pretty good. That's pretty good. Alright, so definitely would we'll start with this. Okay. Um, equipment. 25 experience. Use. Equip. Plate Kuros. Plate Helmet. Plate Gauntlets. Plate Boots. The Arg's Token. Ring of Extreme Haste. Shouldn't shouldn't he have this? <coughs> he does have one. Did I find one? Well, I guess I won't complain. Um, all right, I'll start building up a third army, but in the meantime, I guess I can have him join that guy's army. Uh, I still need to create another rider, though. Uh, Sovereign level up. Let's grab Shard Healer. Uh, city level up. It's time to craft. Oh, he needs to be level 10 to use that. That reminds me. All right, I gotta make sure I save these resources. But he's level 5 now, right? He is level 6. So we can craft him a better staff. Um, so, do I want a frost staff? I do want to frost stuff. I probably want to craft it that way. Uh, lightning staff. Lightning staff seems slightly better. Um, Hellfire stuff. Initiative minus six. Initiative minus two. Minus two. So far, the late staff seems the best. All right. Cast on the lightning staff. I haven't seen anything to be immune to lightning either. Um, I'll go ahead and craft this just so I don't forget. I guess I could find one. Um, Courage on him. And all right, so what swords? Hmm, maybe I'll just set up. Uh, let's see, Hunter's short sword. Sure. Uh, 
is level six. Yeah. Equip that for now. Shield. I should probably craft him one of those impenetrable tower shields if I have the platinum for it. Or, uh, or the. So this is. So I have five to spare. Yeah, I don't have. So. Sorry, right, we'll just equip the glyph round shield. Let's give him 46 defense. 23 initiative. All right. Um, That's pretty sweet. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm just going to craft three of these. They're amazing. And then my dwarf will equip them. Where's my dwarf? Dwarf. All right, so my dwarf will take off his three cloaks of shadows. And instead, we'll only equip three cloaks of the night. Now he's up to 115 dodge. And that means he can equip three cloaks of shadows. And that leaves him one spare slot. Um, I think I want that plus 25% experience. All right, I think he got it. Yes, he did. Okay. His dodge is 74, which is not bad. His attack kind of sucks. Okay. Where's this army going to go next? Um, I guess we'll go. Is this the. Yeah, there's the Ice Lord's camp. I guess we'll go this way. We probably can't ally with the dwarves anymore. But maybe we can. <coughs> we'll try. Um, so we'll go this way. So.
until next turn to get to clear that out. Um, so you just built a storehouse. Uh, sure. Can't be too safe. It's not like I need you to build anything else right now anyway. Uh, plenty of logistics. Yep, Doomsday Counter, zero. All right, I'll let that one just finish on its own. Um, right. Workman's Hammer, Enchanted Mining Pick, oh this is probably what I could use, yeah I could probably use this to clear the rock slide, alright so we'll head back over there. Um, ring. Oh, hammer rather, we'll give to him. Plus two production in the city. And these guys. Greetings, manling. The Sorcerer King expands its reach and his visions grow more terrible. How goes your struggle against him? May our forces be of any assistance? Um could use some of your powerful fighters. So we suspect it. We will give you two of our best. Aurelius is a formidable opponent. Now, since it appears you wish to test your strength against mine, let me give you a taste of my full sight. Alright, another army. Ice Mage. Commander of Ice. Mage. Well, this mage has more hit points than the commander of ice. You can rile other yeti up, inducing battle fever. One spot open in this army. Sentinels, stables, I don't want to 
blacksmith no matter what we do. Uh, summon it. I guess we'll explore this just to uh, get rid of this blank space on our map. Okay. Production. Have that. Uh, battlements. Um. Workshop. Yes, I think I found something that will do the trick. With the enchanted mining pick, the rocks crumble before you. In a matter of hours, a path is cleared through the debris. The merchant finally stops stamping his feet. Thank you, he says. Without your help, my cargo would have spoiled. Please, allow me to share some with you. He then gives you a completely unnecessary amount of garlic and sets off down the road. Okay. Hello, Mr. Trog. All right, let's see what these guys can do. Ice Mage. You can attack from ranged. Or. I guess you can't. Hmm. Not so sure about you anymore, Ice Mage. Send you over there. You do have a scout's ring, I was going to say. Production. This is getting pretty merry. All right. Death Ward Scroll Recipe. <clears throat> um, scroll. Death Ward Scroll. We're missing a Demon Horn. Kill them better. They'll be resurrected with half their hit points. Seems good. Um... Alright, 
let's head over towards the shard. It's damaged, but I think we can heal it now that we, we took that ability. Um, sure, we might as well try that. You know what I should do? Uh, crafting, enchanting. The other dire wolf. Does the other dire wolf not have anything equipped? No, he doesn't. Alright, chain shirt, chain boots, chain gauntlets, chain coif. Afford to craft two more of those. I think I can. And then <coughs> right, we have two slots here now. Um We have five platinum chains. Let's do um, let's put four of them on. Oh, two there. there. Save one for emergencies. Uh, so that gives him a couple things to do in combat. Um, 13 Shadow Hearts. I still don't think I have anything better. Long slowdown ability. I can put flat flawless crystals on stuff. I can put cedarwood oil on stuff. I kind of want to save my cedarwood oil though. Um, Crothag should have at least one shadow heart. battle. Those warlocks might kill somebody. Maybe 
take 15 damage to Crothax, huh? Um, immune. Probably should have checked that. Uh, you have Crush. Let's try it. Crush instead of Cleave. Ooh, but it dazes them. That's pretty good. Stone, Venom Stack, level up on Prothax. So we'll start off down here. Oh, for 50 mana, Prothax gains Arctic abilities outside of Arctic terrain. Surprise, if the enemy will take cold attack, choose by 10. Um. Yeah. Oh, I should probably. I should probably grab that. Yeah, I should probably grab that and then. Well. No, I take it back. I'm going to grab this. I'll go down this line and then grab that. Okay. Um. Go ahead and heal Crothax before I forget. Or Corthox, I should say. Corthox. All right, and that's where we're going to end this episode. So it's been a fairly eventful one. Uh, oh, one more thing before I forget. Summon. Builds. Command post. <laughs> we do have a. Yeah, we do have a storehouse. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, until next time, have a terrific day.